Welcome back, my little cat travelers, to another Eden version 2.13.700. Guys, we got a new update. Yay! Yay! I'm with Silver, as always, guys. You bet. Yeah, so today, guys, we got um, we got a three cool new characters, and we got a, a Yukino AS, a um, snow characters, a winter characters. Um, Silver's favorite type of weather, right? The winter. Yes, he's being sarcastic. I hate winter. All right, guys. So we're gonna go over the update. So first of all, guys, we got a Colonel Stone price change, guys. Um, it's a little kind of like sad, but not so sad news. Um, pretty much, uh, you probably saw it over social media, guys, that the um, Apple and Google Play prices uh, are increasing for um for their tokens. So um, another Eden, the studio kind of uh, you know has to go with this. But the good news is um, they also increased the Colonel Stone that we're getting. So it's kind of like balance it out. So, if you want to show your support, guys, do it. I know it's a little price increase, but, you know, the game is good, so let's uh, let's keep it alive. All right, so that's, uh, that's, you know, the Saturn new, but let's go with what's great. So, the update is coming out tomorrow, October 11th, as today is Thanksgiving in Canada. Correct. So, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. So, we're going to go with our first new character, who's right here. There you go. You take it over with your voice. Before you shrink and fade away, please let me hold you. Warm feelings and a snowy heart. This had more impact the first time I read it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got AS Yukino, guys. The little snowman um, is back. I don't know if you guys us did her first quest, but it was a... No, not her first quest, but in, the, in this village, there's a quest with a snowman that you guys should definitely do it. And it's why we are in the snow village, too. It's a um, very nice outfit. Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. It's very nice. Yeah, and the, the belt, the the necklace. I, I like everything about I like, it. I like the snow inside. It's the, simple. Yeah, I like the snow inside the umbrella. Uh, at first, she was supposed to be a uh, spring character or a summer character to balance it out the winter. Oh, that would have been cool. It, yeah. Um, yeah, no, so character-wise, looks nice. Blue, um, like the little uh, igloo there that she is. She uh, sitting on um, the carrots for the horn is always cute too. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't like horns on characters at all. But, but, um, but the little carrots for like yeah, snowman. I'm not into the demon girl type stuff with, uh, with the horns and the. I prefer human characters. She, she's not but, a demon. She's a snowman. But I love the outfit. Yeah, the, the outfit is pretty nice. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try <laughs> to do something a bit different now. Um, we're gonna go s switch over, guys, the actual uh, wiki, and we're gonna go over um, our stuff. So it's gonna be better instead of just me spilling, spilling out like a bunch of words. You guys are gonna have some visual aids. So let's see what she looks like. First. Yeah, no, she looks good. Look at that. Yeah, I like the, the and the boots are almost exactly like uh, oh, they're just leg warmers. Yeah. She's wearing flip flops though. I don't know about that. You're going to uh, you know have, be in real trouble there with the ice and, mm. and everything else. I like I like a little like cape here. The shawl is pretty nice. The, the belt and, yeah. and necklace are really nice and cute. The shawl is cute too. So it's all cute. It's, it's, cl a, good, it's a classy outfit. It's a classy I like outfit. It. All right, let's go back, guys. So, as you guys probably noticed by the fact that she's from a winter village, she is a water character. She uses a bow, pressing attack. She's she's uh, has a ring and use the light as a uh, type uh, personality. Eastern bow and fairy. All right, do you want to read this? Sure, so the description, yes. correct? Yeah. A most mysterious girl who can switch at will between the form of a human girl and that of a snowman. She usually acts cool on the outside, but she's actually all warm and fuzzy on the inside. She treasures a carrot that she received from a girl long ago in the snowy village. Now she waits every day for the chance to meet her once again. Is she bully? Like... Like that, that's gonna be like a reference that like people only like, only grew up in Canada, like that little snowman that we used to. Oh like, yeah, I, re I remember that. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna go over a kit. She's um, she's kind of like putting the tanks in the game to shame a little bit. She's uh really really strong. So her um, so she has a skill called Snow Guard of Shrine. Gives a bear to all party members that reduce five thousand damage or left to zero until the end of turn. You read that right, five thousand damage. That's a lot of damage negation. Also work against fixed damage and percent of HP attack. Replace the basic attack from the start of a battle. Revert to basic attack after each use. Reactivate after 15 of purse move done by party members. So of course, guys, she's gonna excel with a purse pierce um, party. Move count start from the turn when this skill was used. Party members who acted before the skill are not counted. Multi move skills like copy sectors are counted twice. Counter at the end of the, at the end of attack do not count. 
She's all, she's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So she's like a healer, she's like a, a support. She, she's a support character that give um that gives Bear puts out the other tank pride, Garam Barrel, and Radius AS. Not to shame, but you know, she's up there. She's up there. She also sat. She also have uh, another zone, Awakening by any element type or zone of damage. Have attack zone, double damage multiplier for zone, plus 60% for attack zone, of thunder, crystal, shade, type zone, 200% for fire, water, wind, or zone, double damage on weakness, yay, effect for crystal, type zone, she's gonna be good with armor. Uh, cannot be overwritten by deploying different zone of another zone, but can be removed, broken with a skill. After duration and zone is removed, singing can be used at the time, at the same time as the other zone, can be activated only one per character. So that's just the standard under the zone. Alright, what about this skill? Yuki Snow Girl State. Change into Yuki Snow Girl from three turns. Intelligence Diffuser plus 100% while changed. All buffs, debuff statuses from skills are erased from user on change. Equipment buff with E icon, whatever that is, still apply. Cannot act and immune to damage uh, buffs, debuffs, status effects. In the end of turn, Yuki Snow Girl attack, Cool Yuki Snow Girl attack, Ultra Yuki Snow Girl attack based on activation skill. In the end of turn, after attack, stack one Snow Flurry stack and state ends when attacked or when duration ends. Frankly speaking, I understood none of what I just read, but I feel like I did a good job regardless. You, you did, you did. So pretty much what happened is she turns she turns into a snowman and gives a hundred intelligence to all the party members, and she's also on, um, can I be target and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, it's also happening. Also, I would you, I wish that she uh, says Yuki Snow Girl Tech Cool and Ultra Cool or like Radical. I know it. Let's go down. Um, Yuki Snow Girl, delayed, charge into a Yuki Snow Girl state, return, stack one, snow fury stack, perform Yuki Snow Girl attack at the end of the turn while in the state. Benedict. Why do the snow flurry stack do? Um, we'll go right after, one tab at a time. Uh, cold shot, water type, pressing attack of all enemies small, generic, boring, me. Um, light snow dance, power plus 15% of, and, of intelligence plus 15% and speed plus 15% to all party members for three turns. See, that one's really straightforward, I understand what yeah. that's going to do. So Ice Blast Meteor, is that where we are? No, Freezing Sleet. Yes. Piercing Attack on a single enemy times two, S, small. Yes. And Physical Resistance for Fire, 30% to all party members, three turn. Ice Blast Meteor, Water Type Piercing Attack on all enemies times two, large, and Bow Damage plus 30%, and Critical Damage of all party members plus 30% on three turns. Mm -hmm. Cool Yuki Snow Girl. Delayed turn to Yuki Snow Girl state. Three stack one snowman, uh, snow furry stack. Perform cool Yuki um, Snow Girl attack in the end of turn. That's her, uh, her changing into a snowman. Frozen Blizzard. Water type pierce attack of all enemy XL. Piercing resistance of all enemy, enemy minus 25% for three turns for maximum stack of 50%. Type resistance of all enemies minus 25% for a max of 50%. When in any type or attack zone, power and speed of all party members plus 50%, max stack of 100%, one per battle, awakening zone for two turns. Charcoal Ice, preemptive. Type resistance of all party members plus 50%, and max, max HP plus 1500 for five turns, and speed of all enemies minus 100% for five turns. When not in zone, deploy piercing flash stance and inflict break on all enemies. So yeah, um, not the most broken kit, but really, really interesting as a defender. So well, let's see our passive skill. Um, so yes, you wanted to know what Snow Fury stack? Yeah, I did. Increase multipliers of Yuki Snow Attack, cool Yuki Snow Attack, or, or Ultra Yuki Snow Attack. Stack method only in Yuki Snow Girl. Stack max three plus one when the state is activated, plus one at the end of the turn. So what it does, <laughs> so I understood. Yeah. So what it does, yeah. The third stacks that you get, and then it makes like Yuki heals, Yuki snow girl, uh, snow girl, and you and cool snow girl attacks harder. So Yuki's heal restore all, restore all party members HP from a thousand to two thousand five hundred, and the MP from twenty to fifty. Um, effect power is based on one, two, three. A pierce move, 
use during the turn. Double move from the copy. So that's that's the move that um, every time every time you do Pierce attack, you get a heal, which is great. So that's a passive. She does that at the end of a turn, mm -hmm. at, all the time. You need you need to be in, you need to be in any stance. So, like let's say you have Melissa with her. Uh, well, I don't know what any stance is. To me, that sounded like it meant any. Yeah, stance. yeah, yeah. But I'm just giving you a stance that uh, I'm a character right here. Yuki Snow Girl attack. End of turn. When in Yuki Snow Girl state from the skill Yuki Snow Girl, water type magic attack of all enemies small. Yuki multiplier is goes from one stack is 150 to three stacks is 600. Cool Yuki Snow Girl attack. Um, it's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing and a little bit stronger. It goes from 750 to 3000. There you go. She, uh, she's interesting kit, I'm not gonna lie. Interesting kit, I'm definitely gonna try to side grade her. I might roll for her since I've been a long time since we did a roll video. But, uh, yeah, what do you think before we switch? And, uh, As I said, I really like the uh, the character design, and it's really rare that I say that yeah. I really like it. It's simple, and it's nice, and it's classy. All right, so before, uh, so guys, um, like, like I did last time, I kind of like read Backy's uh, tips, battle tips, but there was no screen, so I'm gonna do it with a screen with uh, Scott to the right, who looks surprised, always dressed as a <laughs> guy. So the Backy's battle tip, guys, in case you've missed it, uh, as a Pierce attack supporter, she contributes greatly to attack and firepower. She excels at enduring attack while setting up high damage hit while, while also weakening zone with another force and repeated the process. When using Kamikura Bojin, uh, damage taken under 5,000 is reduced to zero. After use, it can be used again by performing a certain number of piercing attacks. Yoto Yuki Shimaki boosts power speed by 50% when deploying a type attack, attack type zone, and can be stacked up to three times for a significant boost in firepower. Tenen Hyodan boosts user type resistance by 50%, and max HP by 1500 and also reduces speed by 100% for all enemies, making it an all-around boost. When no zone is deployed, it deploys piercing flash stance, so it works well with awakened zone. I like the fact that they kept the Japanese name there, not no translation. Um, alright, so the battle tip number two, stick with both equipped allies as much as possible, but make up for the rest with lands. Focus on piercing at type. The team should be formed with both equipped allies if possible for the strength buff as well as lens type high power high firepower attack attackers if any so she works great with uh Tsukiya es looks amazing garam barrel who's the um has the best abs in the game Yikes. <laughs> silver striker violet lancer and pizika of course pizika fits with every party because she's the best mermaid in the game she's she has like a cool singing uh, skills and uh the last tip from Baki. Yukino's uh, as a supporter specialized in person type with mini buff and debuff for both attack and defense. We use the feature of Ten Tenen Odan to incorporate awakening zone into the strategy. Depending on the on the enemy, consider team composition when the reuse cycle of Kamuka Buji in mind. So pretty much use um pretty much use um oops, this, this down. pretty much guys use her with bows and um plants and then plants. So that that was for her. Looks super nice. Let's go. Let's keep on. So we're gonna get a new uh, sub quest. We're gonna get a new encounter, which is great. We're gonna get a new update, a new little cute character too. Yukwaji. So guys, um, if you guys are a fan of Chrono Trigger, he's pretty much the um the God of War Specchio. 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 Um, he looks super nice. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get him. Um, My second favorite God of War. Your second favorite <laughs> God of War. So, um, if I remember correctly, you're gonna need to fight him until level 195, I believe. Then he's gonna join your party. Uh, now, also, you don't need to wait a day anymore. You can actually just uh, fight him, go to bed, come back. So, it's gonna be cool. Um, let's go over his kit because his kit looks a little bit crazy. So first of all, what do you what do you think? I like the little birdie. Yeah, he looks he looks kind of cute, guys. Um, once again, if you have a, if you have a moment, go look into the uh, the update. There's a, a bunch of other draft of these characters that looks kind of cool. So. I like I like that he looks like he's made of rubber. Yeah, I do, I don't know. He he's a creature. Um, that's for sure. Yeah. 
He has like a little tiny hand and like weird lips. Yeah, I don't know. I don't <laughs> think he's very cute or anything, but the bird is pretty cute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so guys, he's water. He uses a blunt fist necklace and he's a shadow. He doesn't have any description, guys, but, but you know him. It's nice to see a different type of character out of them, though, right? Like it's a, it shows creativity and vision. Mm -hmm. So he has personality fits. All right, let's go over his um, let's go over his passive skill first. Heal party while in reserve. At the end of the turn, if Yukwaji is in the backline, he restores some HP to all allies. Oh, nice. This this skill looks interesting. Ragnarok. At the start of the 20th turn of battle, user gained Ragnarok stack. At the end, at, uh, at the end of the turn with Ragnarok accumulated, consume Ragnarok and transform it to Ragnarok form, which is. What's the last time you've had a battle last 20 that, rounds? That is exactly what I was saying, guys. Um, I don't know about you, but most of the times, my rounds don't last more than 10, 10 rounds. So I don't know. It's gonna be weird. Like I, it's gonna be like a different way of playing, which is kind of cool. First skill, fist slap. Basic attack, blunt attack of a single enemy. That's he, he punches you. Geezer break. <laughs> Geezer. Water type, blunt attack, attack on a single enemy. Plus 10% damage per turn. Pass max 10 turn. Multipliers by two. When in your interact form, damage plus 100%. Multipliers by two. Via Vercoilet? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> suppose, I suppose. Water blunt attack on all enemies, small, and inflict stun. When Ragnarok form, plus 100% damage, multiplier times two. Demonstration daily progress. Power of all party members, plus 5%, and intelligence, plus 5%, speed, plus 5% for 10 turns. Buff effect increases, plus 5%. Uh, per turn, passes max 10 turns, plus 50%. When in Ragnarok form, buff effect on self increases times 2. Avert points. Water type blunt attack of a random enemy, times 3 to 5 medium, and blunt resistance minus 5%, and water type resistance minus 5% per 10 turns. Debuff, debuff effect increase plus 5% per turns, pass max 10 turns for a max 50%. When in Ragnarok, debuff effect increased by 1.5. Lisa Droll. Water type blunt attack on a single enemy times 3. Large inflict pain. 5 turn in order to get resistance. Pain damage increased based on the turn elapsed. Max 10 turns to a multipliers of 15. When in Ragnarok form, pain duration and damage increase. 10 turns multiplied by 2. Geezer smash. I like this, I like this little word geezer. It's not geezer. It's geyser. Geyser, yeah, mm -hmm. geyser, sorry. Water type blunt attack of a single enemy large, plus 20% damage per turn, pass max 10 turn, multipliers by 3. When the Ragnarok form, plus 150% damage, multipliers by 2.5. Martial art twin wave. Water type blunt attack of, of all enemies, excelling critical rate of all friend members, plus 100%. 40% damage per, uh, per turn, pass. Rani Rock plus 100% damage multiplied by 2 critical damage of all party members plus 30%. Last one. And guys, destroy water type blunt attack on a single enemy extra large plus 30% per turn passed per turn passed max 10 turns multiplier times 4 and when in Ragnarok form plus 200% damage multiplier times 3. So all around, he seems to be um, a character that you bring for a long fight. So I'm wondering if they're gonna change the uh, the way the game is played to have like a longer fight. We'll see about that. I like the heels. Mm. Of the characters or the Yukino? Well, both, right? He has a healing move oh, too. Oh, heels! I thought you meant heels as the shoes. <laughs> oh no. All right. Uh, yes, because I know you you like to heals in this game. Um, dreams starting in version one point. So, sorry, starting in version 2.13.700, the length of encounters featuring new characters and new style will be adjusted. Up to version 2.13.500, uh, base 30 days on and after the version, based on 60 days. So pretty much, guys, is since we're catching up to Japan, um, they're kind of like slowing down the uh, the update, um, which is kind of cool for new players, so they have more time to catch up. Not as great for us new players because we're always craving for new stuff. But you know, there's always the maze that you can go. There's always the infamous timeline or the um, the Lord of Mana games. If you guys have a uh, 
stuff too. Or you can do like silver and spend your entire time playing the fishing mini game. Alright, so we got more cells guys going on. And we also get new little new cats. Look at that, new cats. Aww. Yeah. I sure do love cats. Yeah, new uh, new cats of Lilu. Um, you know, I might buy it because I have a bunch of coins and uh, because I like to uh, dress my cat in a weird outfit. And there's a couple of bugs, and then that's it. That's it for the update. Uh, little bugs. I'm surprised they did not mention it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I believe they're also gonna add um, new Ukwaji weapon. Let me show you what it looked like, because I have a picture right here, and I think it looked adorable, especially the fist. Um, there you go. Yeah, it's Frostmourne edition. Yeah, I mean the fist here looks kind of cool with the with the lips. I think the I, I I'm gonna go ahead and say that's an axe. No, that that's a fist. No, the one that's all the way to the left. Oh, to the left, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. that's. Yeah. Looks cool. I'm in. I'm into the right. Um, yeah. All right, so that's it for today's update, guys. I think that's it for today's update. So excited? Yes, certainly. I mean, we're going to do um, try to get her right, and I will, maybe we will do, do a, a character quest. Yes, thing. yes. If it's there, guys, we keep uh, we keep doing the quest. Once again, guys, I'm deeply sorry about the sound. Sometimes it works properly. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, that being said, guys, if you like what we do, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and, you know, get the conversation started in the comments. Yes, and we'll see you guys next time for more another Eden update. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.